the ice of Barrington, once in a blue moon. This is their Roco Mini Tanks, a box. He lent them to me. Oh, let's go through this thing. What do you say? I'm excited. Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. The military's taking over today. Special edition. I walked into a jewelry store in Barrington. Once in a blue moon. Oh, Bob, an artist. He pulls this out of the back room. Oh, I couldn't believe it. My heart skipped a beat. Look at this. A box of Roco mini tanks from his childhood. Oh, and he lent them to me. He's willing to sell if it's the right price. Oh, let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. First, I'm gonna pull this little mini box out. So we can take a look and see what we got. Cause I'm telling you, some of this stuff is just truly amazing. Look at these little trailers here. These are all the accessories. Look at that, Roco made in Austria. Little supply trailer, now this usually came off. I'm gonna be real careful with these. Now that might be glued on, I'm not forcing nothing. Oh, and another little trailer. This is, oh, and the top does come off on this one. This one's a little bigger, these Roco mini tanks are just amazing. Look at the fine, fine detail on this stuff. Oh, you got two trailers, slightly different sizes. Got a mini and a medium size. Now, here's all the pieces and parts that are gold. Look at that. Nice little canopy for something. Oh, I'm dying to get in on this one here. Oh, gotta be so careful with this stuff. Now, as a kid, I had one of these. And it looks like it might just fit into place here. Kind of see over the camera and still work what we need to do. There we go. Oh, look at that. Usually a simple pin system would hold it in place onto the truck. And here is the truck that was under that assembly. Now here's the little stabilization pads. Now those come off. Now <laughs> moving those and they attach on right here and here one in the back and one on the side here oh two in the front so there should be five total one's missing but that's okay that's an easy find and this looks like it's the canopy for this truck oh so cool I'm telling you, it, it's just amazing, all these things. The detail on these are just outstanding. I'm trying to get in here and show you. This one might not fit on this. That's okay, look at that windshield. A little windshield goes up and down. Very nice. Look at all the little details. Looks like something was glued on the front of there. Like maybe a gun. Yeah. Oh boy. Look at all these details. 
these Rogo mini tanks are just amazing. Now let's put this in place here. Cool looking or what? Man, oh man, now this rocket carefully slid into that track and this should carefully lower depending on the trajectory you needed. Oh, <laughs> These Rokos are amazing. Oh, look at this little Jeep. Nice, now this one's missing the windshield, which could be in here. There's some little parts in the bottom of this, guns and supports and wheels. Oh, I'm telling you, these little pieces and parts are huge. And look at the little hitch on the back there. This goes right on there. I put it down here and put the hitch on. And now you got a Jeep and a trailer. Oh, and this is just one big trailer. Let's see what we got in here. We got a windshield, but it's bigger than what is on the Jeep some wheels oh some little little casters <laughs> oh man I'm telling you that is just amazing those will hold those trailers up when they're not hooked up to something and then you've got look at this big trailer now it's missing missing the little support here there would be two little arms that would come down so if this piece was gone the trailer would stand upright and keep the load level and this is you could separate this off do you see that oh. <laughs> I'm telling you this is very cool made in Austria Roco Mini Tanks, there's the logo, dualies on that, simple wire axles, and you always had a spare tire on the bottom. Oh boy, oh boy. Now I'm going to put these little tiny parts in this trailer so we don't lose them. Good idea? I think so. Oh, here's, here's something to hold the gun in place. On one of the larger tanks, you look close, one of the little tabs is broken off there. Oh. But again, some detail work, and you can fix these babies right up. Oh, look how tiny that little piece is. Can we focus on it? But you can see right where that wheel would hold the trailer off. That is nice. So if you're setting up a diorama or something, this can easily be put in its place. Now what else do we have in here? We got a boot for a command card, looks like. I don't think it's for the Jeep or this truck. But look at the details, I'm telling you. Roco Mini Tanks, they went all out. Always check the corners of your boxes. Plastic poker chips. Oh, again, always find some good boxes. Now let's see what else we got in our box here. Oh, we got some bombing men. Let's see what we got here. The gray and blue. <laughs> Oh, look! Can we get a focus? It's Civil War characters. Look at that. 
that is amazing. Now you figure painters and game players, you could paint these little guys up so they look realistic. There are a lot of different guys here running towards the battle. He is ready to go. Oh, shooters from the ground. The gray one's a little hard to see on the white background. But look, he is taking aim, shooting. Oh, let's see. Standing and shooting. Looks like he's might have a bayonet on there. You never know. But these details, pretty sweet. Look how long that gun is. It's about a six foot gun. Man. Again, with some of these things being in the bag, they bend up a little bit. Don't bend them back. You might snap them. Usually it's the same configuration with just different plastics. Ah, oh, here's your flag bear carrying a gun too. Pistol of some sort. Look at that. Oh, that is amazing. His head is tilted to one side like he almost got shot or something. Looks like a general or higher official. Oh, here's a crouching uh, shooter. Now the flag is the same on both the gray and the blue. I don't think they had the same flag component on both. Here's a sword carrier leading the charge. Yeah, some really nice details on these guys. Snipers. He only had so many moldings, and that was it. I'm looking for something new. Got kind of the same runners. Here's a guy standing shooting a pistol. That's a new one. Look at that. Sword on his hip. Pistol. Man. He's a fun. Running, running. Oh, these. <laughs> Remember, he's up as a kid, and then all of a sudden the cat would come through and, oh man, knock him all over. You'd be like, oh, I gotta start all over again. Oh, here's a bugler. Look at that. That is nice. He's calling to arms, the troops. That is pretty amazing. Standing shooters again. Falling over. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking dominoes right about now. <laughs> about to all just collapse and fall in on themselves. I don't see. Old little dust bunnies, DNA going on here. We'll get rid of that. Some hairs. Oh. Look at this on the bottom. Giant. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Giant Hong Kong. That's what's stamped on the bottom of that guy. This one got something? Sure does. Giant. Nice. So we got a manufacturer. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> I don't see anything different. But. There is a good variety of these soldiers, bunch of flag carriers, shooters. This would make a nice diorama. Oh boy, oh boy. 
you never know what you're gonna find in a little bag or box of toys. I'm digging these figures. They're very cool. Look at them all. Got them all stood up. Now these are two totally different eras and times, but that's okay because I'm telling you, these figures are really sweet. Now again, some of them fell over. They got a little flashing on it, but that's okay. That flashing with a careful Zacto blade and a steady hand, you can cut that flashing off and get these Civil War soldiers ready for painting. But man, look at this details on these guys. It is pretty amazing. Oh, these guys are all falling over. Oh, steady hand, steady. Steady. Look at that. Oh, look at these guys at ground level. That's pretty sweet. There's about 50 of them. What do you think? I didn't even count them all, but look at the variation. Very nice. Blue and gray to differentiate the different armies, north and south. Unfortunately, the flags are the same, but that's okay. Got buglers, all sorts of stuff. Oh boy, these are very cool. I am going to put these guys back in the bag and let's get back to a little modern warfare with the Roko mini tanks. Ah, oh, but I'm digging these guys so cool. Oh, let's get back to the box. See what's in the second layer. Oh, 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 oh. nice. Let's pull these guys out. Look at that. That is a nice half track. And again, these things were just so delicate. Just gotta be extra careful with them. Now he customized this one. Got a little paint on the wheels. Camouflage. Look at the detail on those treads. Ah, German symbol. Had some little wheels on here so they would roll easier because the treads didn't actually move. Oh, look at that armored car. Here it is. Now this one, they put the name on it and I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce that. But you People that speak German? Ah, oh, this is second hand for you, Roko Mini Tanks. There's a DB GM. Oh boy, simple wheels on the front. Look at this, armor all the way around. That is one cool. Half track. Let's see what else we got in here. Got a little tank. Oh, <laughs> these are so cool. Now, as a kid, I had a bunch of these that I inherited from my brother Mo, but I don't ever remember seeing this one. Look at that details on that. I'm telling you, the Roko mini tanks have to be the coolest thing in my book. I know, sacrilegious, but even better than Hot Wheels. Look at that. Pivots with its armor. The gun actually goes up and down. These things are 
fragile as all get out. These are high-end collector stuff. I'm gonna put my fingers on the top there. DBGM. If your name began with a DBGM, man, you had it made. You can just go to all your friends and say, look, my initials are right on the bottom. That's my tank. Made in Austria. Roco logo. Now there were some other manufacturers that would imitate these. But nothing like the Rocos. Ah, there's something about it. Let's see what else we have in the box. Box here looks like a water, a gas truck. Started to be painted. Oh, now this one's missing the canopy. that can be replaced. This has a stationary uh, windshield. Nice grill on there. Look at the lights protected by bars. Radiator protected. Look at the leaf springs. These things were cool. They didn't spare any time on details. Look at that. The hook to drag a trailer. Oh, whatever it is. I'm telling you, I, I met a neighbor that he told me, he crazy old man, you thought he's a, just a crazy old man, but man, he was a war hero in the Battle of the Bulge. His platoon got surrounded by the enemy and he volunteered to sneak out and get a gas truck because they ran out of gas. And I'm picturing one like that. He gets out, gets the gas truck, hooks up another trailer to it full of gas, drives through the enemy line to his battalion, and he saved them all. Oh, and he tells me there were bullets flying everywhere. And he had to hold his hand on his knee to keep the gas pedal going. Look at this. This one, it's very cool. Single gun in the middle that raises and lowers. And then this whole thing pivots 360 degrees. And depending... Oh, is that glued down? That might be... Yeah, these must be glued down. Some of these, these flaps would open and close. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think they open and close, but I'm not going to force it. See it? Those, those fold down carefully. But again, these things are so fragile, you got to have a delicate hand of a jeweler to handle these. Look at all those wheels and tread configurations. Totally different from that half track we had. Oh, looks like there's a space for guns. <laughs> I was always putting guns everywhere. Yeah, there's, there's a hinge on this side, but not on this. So that might have broken off. Might have glued it into place, and that's why it's it's stuck that way. You know what? We customized our toys as kids. Look at that, a Panzer IV. Oh, man. Look how cool these are. Roco mini tanks. Let's see what's on the next level. Got a sheet of plastic here. Now again, a box like this being torn around for years you never know what pieces are gonna fall off oh look at these so cool oh man i'm pulling this one out first oh and he's got other stuff underneath look at this night spotlight light up the night now that one Again, that one doesn't pivot. But look at the details and the treads on this thing. Now he painted these. 
a little bright on the green, but <laughs> who cares? My gosh, nowadays with the techniques, we can strip these down and repaint them with more contemporary paints. We were limited to what we had back then. Oh, look at this. Love it. M.M. This guy was digging in his initials to make sure no one was going to take his. Maybe inscribed with a jeweler scribe. Nice. M-I-N-I -I maybe. Oh, and look. Looks like the wheels came out of this one and they glued in a little piece to hold it in place. Made in Austria. Not seeing if we can read what it is, but the glue got over it. That's okay. I mean... <laughs> Still, look how cool that is. Now again, value. We're gonna look up the value on some of these now. Because they've been painted and they're out of the box, that will, that will uh, affect the price. Oh. oh, look how cool. And that barrel, I'm telling you, on the wheel tank, it's a mighty, mighty thing. But on these, fragile and delicate, and it lasted the years. Now, this, this camouflage has a little black in it. I like it. Oh, gun turret. Sometimes these little lids open, but it looks like they might be painted shut. Yeah. But again, there's ways you can strip the paint now, this guy that I bought from, Bob, man, he's a jeweler. He's like, I can cast these and make them in solid gold. You imagine your Roco mini tanks in solid gold rolling up into the battle? Would that be cool? Oh, look at that. There is something about these Roco mini tanks. one was a favorite we had this as a kid now there were two versions of this there was one version that had a single gun three versions one had a double gun like this one and one had four. Oh, it looks like this is the four gun and look those top two barrels busted off now if they're in the bottom of the the uh, bin here got a little flashing on this that could be cut off but if those are on the bottom of the bin you can cast those and, and reattach them again some of you model guys out there have skills that are unbelievable this rotates 360 all the way around simple peg system drops it right back in place and this goes up and down and again you've got to be extra careful with this to get it lined up just right so nothing happens to it oh boy <laughs> I'm telling you that was a four barrel gun turned into a two barrel in the battlefield that is amazing I'm gonna back this one up a little bit Get a couple more in here. That's only a few more. Oh, look at this long range howitzer. Missing a side there. That's okay. Again, I'm thinking this is pretty unified where you could. Oh, yeah, I think that's glued in. Because there is no budge on that whatsoever. But this gun goes up and down. <laughs> and it pivots. See, normally these, these gates go down all the way flat. But since they're glued in place, 
this won't be able to go and retract because this gun will shoot back and forth. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm telling you, these Rokos are just amazing. It is so cool to see a collection. This would probably be one thing I would add to my collection is Roko Mini Tanks. I've got so many other cars and things, but man, the Roko Mini Tanks, like I said, look at that grill 10, 88 millimeter, centimeter, flank gun. I don't know what all those codes are. Oh, but I'll tell you, you military men that use these things, I have greatest respect for you and admiration for what you guys did for this country. Oh, <laughs> look at this. We got two more vehicles, three more tanks it looks like, and one more truck. Oh, and then a box. Let's see what we got going here. Oh, boy. So cool. I don't know what it is. You military men, you army men, armed forces guys, you know exactly what this tank is and you probably lived in this for days and months at a time. Oh. And again, fragile as all get out. Now they had little guns and machine guns you could add to the top in accessory packs this one got painted in black and green very nice little chipping not quite sure what everything is on that M48 Austria oh three gouges I wonder if that meant something it's like yeah this is my mod oh, ho, ho. Look at that. That is an amazing collection. Now let's see, we've got this one right here. Take out very carefully, put the box down. Oh, it's like that other flank gun. But shorter, I uh, see. Here's here's where the the gates go up and down. What? Oh yeah, these these are working. See, you lift them up slightly, and then they they would catalever down just ever so carefully. Now the gun has full range. Pivots 360, and then goes up and down. Oh. Look at how cool that is. I'm telling you, as a kid, if you didn't have patience, these, these uh, shields would bust off in a heartbeat. Look at the gearing on those treads. Again, the detail on these are just spectacular. I love these. They had the, the armored panels that would pop up into place. And again, it was just understanding the hinging and watching how they would go together. And you would just carefully put them back into place so that they could protect that gun from any fire. And again, take your time with these things. They are old as the hills and fragile as can be. Now see, you can see that this came out and look at this system it's real simple system and all these pieces could be cast for replacement parts because I don't know if the company is still in production and again do not force these whatsoever raise the gun up to get that last panel in place So he can drive into battle, pull that gun up, 
protect the the men that are firing it. Oh boy. Just so amazing. Panzer four. Now, again, because these are just all on a little tab, these things could all be interchanged. So you could change out the guns, the little guns, with the big guns. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at this. It's like a tank vehicle. Look at that tank gets stuck out in the in the field look at how delicate that is that is just amazing and it's on a pivot and swings this goes up and down ever so slightly to be able to haul something out of its way now look at this plow same thing so fragile now it's missing some bars here that would stabilize it up. You see that? Just a simple pivot, little piston type of piece like that other side and this would go up and down. It looks like they sheared off. You can see the white of the plastic where it broke off. Look at the treads. Again, each one of these treads are authentic to what the vehicle was. Little area where the guys could shoot out. See? Oh, man. And again, these, these are just so cool. There's the numbers on it. I'm going to definitely be looking up some of these to see their values. Unfortunately, in close inspection of these, they're, they're missing some pieces and parts. And they've been modified and glued together. And when you glue them together, it kind of kind of wrecks it for some of the serious collectors. <laughs> But those like me, <laughs> any condition, even pieces and parts. Now this one has a sedentary windshield that's missing. Again, you can you can uh, get that and mold it off another one. This one you can see has glue holding this canopy in place, which again you glue in your toys, but. Man, when it was falling off and you're getting mad, you got the airplane glue out and fixed it. We can fix this ourselves. You can see right where the sprue was, where it came off. And they put it together and assembled it in factory. Made in Austria, Rocco. Dooley's on there. Ah, oh, so nice. And here's the trailer. Let me pull it out carefully. Oh, and it has the doors. So this would fit in here, and you could drag that around. That was a very cool rig, right? Oh. So these trailers, you could put a Jeep in here, a man in here, but again, these doors are fragile. You gotta just be super delicate, but they will open. little fingers oh what is this he's got a back door stick out there that is so funny wonder if he remembers that now there is nothing in there gotta be careful again with these these are so fragile there is nothing in there oh and here it is Remember, I was telling you, there's this, this little piece. Now, all you truckers, you're going, that guy's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I have no idea what this is called. But you truckers do. It just came off its little piv pivot. But this pivots right into place here. 
and that holds it up. I'm going to take this off camera, get this back on, not look through the camera. Oh, these are so cool! There it is, right back in place. Oh, ha, ha. so now it can freestand. Oh, look at that. I'm getting another angle. See what I'm saying? So those little brackets would hold the trailer up. Whoops. <laughs> and this guy would back into place. Lock it up. And then he could drive it away. Again, the details are just amazing. And then this little piece folds back up. Out of the way. Depending on which way it goes, I think. There we go. Look at that. And off it goes. And the cool thing about this one, it's got the back doors. Oh, man. That is all the vehicles we got going on this one. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen! Ah, oh, such a good number. Such a nice variety. You've got some painted, some not, some marked German, some marked American. Ah, oh, all in front of the supper club. This has some great memories from me. And guess what? We got one more little box here, which is very interesting. Here's the bottom of the box. And again, look at this. Here's the back of a package. Roco HO Mod US Army Van Tractor Trailer Crew Two Man Engine. Got a Rio two and a half ton tractor six by six M48. Oh, we saw that semi trailer. Its purpose to supply army arsenals with very sensitive loads. Used as a workshop truck, radio van, etc. Tractor is considerably maneuverable and easier to reverse than trucks with trailers. Payload, 12,000 pounds. Oh, look at this. So it tells you the other models available, but isn't that fantastic? It tells you exactly what it is. Now this got ripped off. Shoot. Oh, it looks like it's just a foreign language. Yeah, that's the translation. And it's got this number on it, 6-8. Now, whenever you're looking in these boxes, and you've got a box set up, you want to always look under these flaps, because things can hide under these flaps. So lift up the flaps, and see if any little pieces or parts fumble out. You'll be able to hear them, and I'm shaking it, and I get nothing. But now... <laughs> big white screen look we've got these army men but they're bigger size than what I'm used to seeing look at that what we got on the bottom here giant made in Hong Kong but look at the scale that's too big but man there is a wide variety of these soldiers. Now these are all green. Oh, look at that. A guy with a mortar. Now I remember this in 172nd scale. Here's another mortar guy. And they were super, super tiny. Oh, see this guy, remember him? Got a knife in one hand, I think. Oh, that is his hand. And he's got a grenade in the other, and he's about to whip that thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
Let's see what else we got. Another mortar! Holy smokes! That's three mortars! Another mortar! That's four! Wow! These guys are front line! Five! All the same! Six! <laughs> That's seven! <laughs> Holy smokes! Uh, eight! <laughs> Nine! Wow! Ten! Eleven! <laughs> Again, when they get tied up like this, take the time to carefully untangle them so that you don't bust off anything. Because let me tell you, these are fragile and delicate and the way they got tangled up in the box you can always untangle them oh i just see one more two more holy smokes these guys are dropping mortars more than anything in the world <laughs> it's like 75 80 85 <laughs> here's another one oh again See how they're all tangled up? But just carefully, carefully bring them apart. Oh, it's two mortars. <laughs> Morty and mortar. <laughs> and you can get them apart. But take the time to carefully maneuver them so you can unlock them without damaging them. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all those mortars. That is amazing. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. Another one. This whole box is mortars. Got some fuzz and fizzies. Oh. Now look at this one. It's a mortar, but the guy's at a different angle. So I wonder if there's a whole series of those at different angles. You guys jumping out of mortar. See that? Again, you gotta look at these things closely to really observe anything it may be. Oh, look at this. Here's the key right here. Oh no. <laughs> Silly me. This is a mind detector. But see that little peg on his foot? That means you can put him on a base and glue him onto whatever base. But these look like they're molded into place, but the mortars are not. They look like they're glued down, separate. Giant, made in Hong Kong. But there's definitely this guy is definitely bent over picking up something where the rest of these are a little higher up. That's the only one that's bent over that high. Now, did he customize it? I don't know. Yeah, look at this. This is this guy's kind of got like straight legs on him. This guy is a little more bent. Or am I just goofy? I am goofy. <laughs> oh boy. Here's, <laughs> here's another one. Whoa, these smokes. Uh, here's a mine detector again, but this one is molded into place face does not have the details that this other one did. So maybe that's an, oh my gosh, another mortar. <laughs> that is amazing. Now look at this one. Infantry.
good details. Got a big backpack on. Now, there's the peg, but it's got flashing on it. You'd have to cut that flashing off. And you could paint these things up. Got a nice gun on there. Here's the pack. Again, such detail for tiny, tiny soldiers. What is this guy doing? Oh, he is searching out with binoculars. That mold is a little weak. Oh, a little flashing on the backside there. Again, just cut that off and protect that. Another mortar. <laughs> it's just literally a chameleon mortar. Another mortar. So mostly these are mortars and mine detectors. From what I see. Oh, look at this. Remember this one? It's a bazooka. Now you should have another guy that's feeding him. Now because, because he's on a tripod, he's got three things down. You could probably stand him up. However, this one's got pegs, so he would go into a base. Here's a shooter. Just crouched and shooting. Protecting his line. Again, here's a uh, Looks like a canteen, but it almost looks like it was a, a sprue area where they filled the filled the molding to make these guys. Oh, another grenade thrower. Another hammer. Very weak. But still cool. Still cool. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Guys on the radio calling in support. There you go. See? Perfectly cool. Oh man, just fits right in there. Simple base. Let's see what else we got here. Another mine detector. Some of these the details on the faces were not that good. Ooh, it looks like a skeleton. <laughs> but man, you painters, you can paint these things up really good. The guy running. Got a bayonet attached. Another grenade thrower. Very nice. Again, this scale is a larger scale. Very interesting. Oh, shooter with a little, little tripod. Some of the details on these were good, and some are a little weak. Oh, he's running with binoculars. Very interesting. Who would figure you run with binoculars? But hey, man, in battle, crazy things happen. I'm not quite sure. But again, they give you all these different poses and different guys that make your whole diorama just perfect. This. Oh, look at this. Again, this looks like half 
of a thing that would hold a gun. Now the peg broke off of this, but it would hold a big gun. I'm not quite sure what that would go to, but again, I'm going to put that in that trailer with all the other pieces and parts of the shooter. shooter with the outer base. Some are on bases and some aren't. Very interesting. Now this is all the stuff that is really fun. Look, here's a whistle. Probably a Cracker Jack whistle. You never know what you're going to find in a box. Got a little star on one side. No ball in there. A lot of dust. Here's a little Chevrolet pin made out of metal. Some more bases. Here's a pin that they might have used to do something with, like poke holes out or clear a hole out to make it bigger to fit a peg in or something. You've got shooters. Another radio guy. looking up and all the rest I think we've seen oh look at that you haven't seen that guy looks like a flamethrower see the big canister on his back wow that was a dangerous mission to get Oh, let me zoom out a little bit here. Look at all those army men. Now, like I said, they're slightly bigger scale, but who cares? They're army men. It was such a part of our childhood play dates. And for me, these Roco mini tanks are sweet as can be. Oh, so we've got in this box that we got from the once in the blue moon jewelry store we got a little box here filled with all these soldiers and then the rest of the box had these roco mini tanks you have trucks and trailers rocket launchers little jeeps oh do you remember they had motorcycles with sidecars, they had German jeeps, they had panzer tanks, they had tiger tanks. Oh, they had it all. They had tank carriers, the dragon wagons. Oh, check out the other videos of my collection. Oh, I'm loving these spotlights. So cool. I wish they were a little better condition, but oh, come on. He's have survived the test of time and they can all be repaired repaired back <laughs> repaired back into mint condition if needed oh, with extra parts and pieces oh thanks for coming into the supper club and checking out the Roco mini tanks from my new buddy Bob oh he's got other collections that we're gonna video for you guys and let me tell you, this has been a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. Thanks for coming in, military. We love you guys. Thank you for your service and all you did for our country. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is for you guys. God bless you. We'll see you on the flip flop on another day. <laughs>
Look at these guys all set up right in front of the supper club for a reenactment. Oh, so cool. You've got a little bit of everything. I'm loving these little soldiers. They're a little big for the Roko mini tanks. However, this is Civil War. Pretty sweet. Look at those guys. You got your army men still? I do. I got a ton of them. Oh. I love buying that little box and you get them and tear them out. Take them off the sprues. So cool. Look at that. Confederate Union soldiers. All in front of the supper club. Thanks for bringing them in. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!